Today I'll be giving some advice on how to get an A or A star in A-level chemistry. If you're new here, my name's Jaden and I'm a first year dental student at the University of Bristol. But if you're not new, thank you very much for watching another one of my videos and I hope you find something useful. Before we start, as a disclaimer, I know that chemistry is such a hard subject, especially at A-level, but I know that eventually once you put in enough work and do enough questions and practice, it will eventually just click for you like it did for me and so many others and I'm wishing everyone who sees this video the best of luck in chemistry and A-levels in general. If you are finding it challenging or difficult at all, that's no problem and that's actually a good thing as you know what you need to work on and you know what you can do to improve and know that everything you do now will benefit you in the future. So hopefully you find and learn some things useful. Here are a list of things that I'll be talking about in the video with timestamps in the description, but here is a general summary of the video. My first piece of advice would be to print out your exam board, whether you're doing OCR, AQA or any other exam boards, I'd print out the entire specification or get it online at least and put it on a software where you can highlight or tick off anything you do know. Everything you don't highlight straight away or you don't know, then you can make a note of this and focus your revision based on this, which is really helpful as well. As the examiners can only ask you questions and content based on what you've learnt, everything you will learn or will have to learn is based in this specification. So it's really important that you follow every single bullet point that it tells you about as if you tick all of them off, you'll eventually know everything that you can be tested on. Wherever you are in your revision, there's always some piece of information that you can't remember. And I couldn't remember so many pieces of important information or key points. Every time I realized I kept forgetting these things, I would make like sheets of physical paper and write down everything I didn't know and I knew I would forget. And I made this summary sheet for all the subjects I took in A-level where I wrote all my mistakes and corrections so I could see everything I've ever done wrong and what I needed to remember. I did this throughout the whole of sick form but it really doesn't matter when you start as long as you just do it it will really benefit you and when you are revising you can just either reread all your key points or you can write out the whole summary sheet again depending on what you prefer and I feel like this really helps your short-term memory as you may want to read this or do this uh, a week or a few days before the exam so everything's just still in your head so you won't forget it. Now this won't work for everyone but it definitely works for me so I'd recommend trying it out no matter where you are if you're having similar problems. Now my second piece of advice is to use the flashcard resources such as Quizlet and Anki. I'm sure you've heard of one or both of them before but they are flashcard resources which you can make online so you don't have to physically write out the flashcards and you can just type everything and put images and diagrams online. If you've never used flashcards before I'd really recommend trying them as it is a form of active recall which basically tests your memory and your ability to recall certain facts or processes that you will need to learn. And testing yourself is proven to be the most effective way of memorizing things for the long term, which is really what you need. And this really applies to chemistry as there's so much content and so many key points that you need to know. My next tip is to focus on your practicals in chemistry. And if you're in year 12, you may not see the importance of this yet. I'm telling you now, once you get to year 13 and you get this big practical paper filled with questions only on the required practicals that you've done, then you would be really grateful for learning all of them. For a lot of students, it's a really love-hate relationship depending on how much much you learn and how often you revise these practicals. There are a lot of marks you can get from these practical papers and if you do put in enough time then it's a relatively easier way to get marks as it tests just your pure memory instead of as much application or problem solving as you just need to recall certain facts and certain techniques that you did. So I'd highly highly recommend learning all the practicals if you can as this can be a really neglected area for students so if you stay on top of it and keep on it throughout the year this can really help you improve your grades. My next tip it may be quite an obvious one and it's to just do loads of past papers and loads of past paper questions. When it comes to past paper questions, at the beginning it's a lot of quantity over quality as you're developing this exam technique that A-level chemistry requires. This whole doing as many past papers as you can thing applies to all science-y subjects and it's really important to test your own knowledge as it's a form of active recall again but it's more important to practice your exam technique and get you more into the feel of doing exams again. Now I'd like to point out some online resources that you can use and YouTube is a great online resource especially for chemistry as there are a few great YouTubers that I use to help me do well. I watched people like Elliot Rintoul, I'm pretty sure that's how you say his name, and Allery Chemistry. They were extremely helpful throughout the whole of A-levels as for every topic I just watched their videos and they go through past paper questions and perfect exam questions so you know how to answer them and you develop your exam technique and it's just such a great way of revising if you've been bored of just reading the textbook or answering questions yourself. A good website you may want to use is called ChemGuide. I'll put a link on the screen right now and my teachers at my school really encouraged us to use this website as it applied to our exam board and was just a really helpful way of consolidating all our knowledge. Now this point is a sort of combination of the past few that I've talked about already and it's to watch people go through past papers and answer 
answer questions in real time. Elliot Rintoul on YouTube was really good at this and there are so many other good YouTubers, but I just remember him very clearly as he was just very genuine and explained everything in such a great way. Watching people answer past paper questions is great for when you're in that mood where you know you want to be productive or you know you don't want to procrastinate anymore, but you don't really feel like doing any proper hard work or you can't really bring yourself to study too much or too hard as you don't have enough energy. I think it's a really good way of actor revision as you're watching people do these questions so you gain a better understanding and better exposure to what questions you may be asked. And I feel like by watching these videos you sort of subconsciously absorb this information when someone else is answering it and explaining it to you as you will be able to passively learn exam technique and use keywords which you may not have been using before. Before watching these videos on these past papers I would recommend trying the past papers out yourself whether you can do the topic or whether you can't or whether you're struggling it will benefit you no matter what really as you don't want to see the answers before you do them so you know what you need to work on for next time. Now the next point is another one about past papers but it's to help you get more marks when you are answering the questions. A lot of the times you'll be stuck on questions as you don't know what it really wants or what it's really asking or you may not be able to get the marks that you want or you may think you know the answer but you may not get as many marks as you would thought. There is quite a lot of application in chemistry so before you answer each past paper question, I'd recommend thinking about what part of the specification this links to. And if you know what part of the specification it's in, then you know all the key terms and points that the mark scheme and the examiner will be looking for. By figuring out what part of the specification it's in, you'll be able to figure out what the mark scheme is looking for. So you'll be able to use these key points and key terms in your final answer to hopefully get as many marks as possible. So that's about combining all the knowledge you have from past paper questions, exam technique, and the specification. There are my main tips for A-level chemistry. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Here is a list again of everything I've talked about in this video. Chemistry is such a hard A level and I feel for everyone going through it and struggling at the moment as I was once in your position and I promise you it gets better. Thank you very much for staying to the end. It really means a lot to me and if you found this video useful or helpful in any way please consider liking the video and subscribing to my channel. Hopefully I'll see you again but even if I don't I'm wishing everyone who sees this the best of luck in everything and anything you choose to do. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.